Hello, hello, I'm Kaz, and welcome back to the Free to Play Review. The Encore Fusion has hardly even ended, and we are already getting pushed into another Titan event, in this case, the Blade Master Titan event, the subject of today's video. Believe it or not, we are nearing the end of the collaboration between Monster Hunter and Raid within the next couple of weeks or so, and this Titan event pretty much carries us through the end of it. The layout is fairly similar to the ones we had for Sun Wukong and UDK as far as getting the tiered Perfect Souls, and along the way, we also have some pretty good rewards, some energy, an ancient shard, uh, some more energy, some co uh, uh, soul coins, some oil, some extract, pretty nice, greater oil, some, more, uh, some gems, void shard, dust, immortal, and then the really super juicy stuff here, Mallstone 5, superior oil, primal shard, mythical tome, Notably, no legendary tome. If you can kind of go back through, you can see no legendary tome, unfortunately. But there is a mythical tome and an eternal soul stone here at the top. So 1500 is the grand total. And in this case, there is a buffer of 200 points, meaning there is a grand total of 1700 points available. So I know people have kind of a mixed feeling about Titan events overall, especially after the last one with the Zenogre Blade Master having just one perfect soul and having be the very, very end where this eternal soul stone equivalent or the equivalent of where this eternal soul stone is. And so I can understand there being a little bit of a sour taste taste in people's mouth but in this case if you are a huge rathalos fan i'm not particularly on, on for myself but if you are then you really only have to get a thousand points if you want to get all the way up to a four star soul which is pretty powerful when it comes to blessings and especially after the blessing rework four star is very very powerful a little bit weaker compared to five star now because the accuracy slash resistance was moved up from four to, to from four stars to five star but nonetheless the four star blessing gets you the second effect or second tier of the effect of whatever the blessing does so it can be pretty pretty powerful and then notably here if you are only going for the perfect soul you only have to get 1000 points meaning that you could skip 700 points across the events which is a substantial amount that you don't have to do there's probably going to be some summon rush thing that's going to require some shards some effort in order to get some points so just expect that that's been commonplace for the, the entirety of titan events um i given the two week time frame i would only expect there to be one bonus summon rush but don't quote me on that i could totally be wrong but um i would expect that there's probably going to be some painful artifact enhancements well artifact enhancements about the same for as for a fusion 4775 um there's there's a painful dungeon divers already live right now we could take a look at that a little bit later but my point here being that these are somewhat designed for you to pick and choose exactly how far you want to go so if you want to go all the way out to 1500 then you're going to have to put in a lot of extra effort a lot of extra work in order to get there but if you only want to make it to a thousand or something even lower you only want to go to three star 600 points it's fairly easy to do fairly easy being the operator fairly being the operative word there it's not easy guaranteed but it is fairly easy to get to some of the lower milestones so you get to pick and choose how far you want to go you don't have to go all the way out there if you don't want to and you can skip a ton of events if you don't want to do that so in my case in particular i do like eternal soul stones because they are very rare to get and more importantly i do want to get the mythical skill tome and if i'm going to get all the way out to 1450 I might as well get it to 1500 right so my intention is to get as many points as i can especially in the early days you don't want to start skipping stuff early because then you might get screwed over near the end when there's something that you feel like you should be able to do but you can't etc uh, so i'm going to start it off trying to get as many points as possible but i keep track of what i skip and how many i lost over the course of the events and so i'll be keeping track and keeping tabs on that but for now i plan to do basically everything that i can within reason um, obviously like i said we're near the the end of a fusion so i'm kind of wrapping that up but at this point i'm basically just need to finish the ice golem tournament um and so there's really not much more than a, a little bit of daily energy in order to finish that out so i'm basically prepared to start something new anyways overall i think that i'm generally more positive when it comes to titan events because i do have an abundance of resources on my account that's just the way i play i usually have an excess of shards and and uh stockpiles of energy and stuff that i need for any things that come my, comes my way and so stuff like this doesn't really phase me because i'm basically always prepared for whatever they might throw at us but that's again that's just me um and so that is why it's helpful to be somewhat playing in that way but again it's not for everyone i'm not going to mandate how or tell you how to play the game it's up to you how you want to do that but that is one advantage of the uh, weight shadow legends play style so to speak as promised we can take a quick look at the dungeon divers going on that it's already live and there is i think 200 points up for grabs overall so 4350 which is fairly uh, fairly high for dungeon divers points i mean someone could go all the way up to seven 
7,000, which would be insane. But uh, you could do that if you wanted to. But it's only four days long. And so this is equivalent to roughly equivalent to a fusion. Usually it's, a, I think a fusion is normally at like 4,800 if it's going to be a four day when it's, and it's one of the painful dungeon divers. So it's kind of splitting the difference between a one that's capable or you're capable of doing that within a dungeon tournament amount of energy over the course of the X amount of days. Um, so it's a little between super hard and um, super easy as far as dungeon divers is concerned. So it's in the middle, which is fairly approachable, but it's definitely going to cost a little bit of extra gems or energy or whatever resources you have in order to f farm that out. I wouldn't advise skipping a hundred points. That's a lot. That's half. And this is literally the first event. So if you are trying to get fairly far in it, I wouldn't advise it. But again, if you are just going for a thousand, you can start off by skipping a hundred points and you still have 600 to go. So pick and choose how you want to do this. And in my particular case, I'm going to try and get all 200 of these points over the course of the next four days. There's also a tournament starting tomorrow that is a Fire Knight turn attack. Um, and so that's going to be double dipping with the Dungeon Divers as well. So I'm going to try to not waste as much energy tonight. Uh, I still need to finish the fusion myself. I'm still working on a little side tension here, but I'm still working on the uh, Encore uh, Fragment Summon. So a little bit more energy, I think like 200, 300. Yeah. So daily energy is going to be able to handle that, but I'm going to try and hold off after that and wait until tomorrow when Fire Knight, the turn attack is live. So I can start getting Dungeon Divers points specifically for this tournament as well as make progress to get the Titan event points from this particular tournament so yeah good luck to all of you who are going to be participating in the blade master titan event and feel free to let me know in the comment section down below which milestone is going to be your goal one two three four or five as always if you did find this video helpful then be sure to hit that like button down below it really does help out the channel and if you enjoyed the video then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one in the future we are once again on the road to 1000 subs on the channel we're at 950 so 50 to go i would love to hit that goal by the let's let's hit it on leap day 2024 february 20 29th. That'd be pretty awesome if we could do that by then. But again, if you are enjoying the content, then feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.